This should be the pop-off episode. The dog hunting competition. That's just disgusting, man. It's actually disgusting. But different times, different cultures. They even had the whole meme of like, oh, if I don't if I don't get hit, I'm not gonna be served my venison. Come on, hit me. It's just like ugh, it's so fucking weird, man. Um, the archer guy right now, I think, is in the lead, and we're looking pretty bad. Right? Because he shot all his things and he's ahead of him in the points and we currently need to figure out are we going to hit him or are we going to hit the dogs? But at the same time, the other dude can just like focus on us because he's done. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but hey, let's find out in today's reaction. <laughs> this commentator bro is so good. <laughs> right, we ended off with him being like excited, right? It was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's looking bad, but turns out the kid is just gonna have another sussy face on that a bunch of creep on Twitter can just crop and make some sussy-ass tweets with, but yeah, he's back. <laughs> We're turning on our lamp. And then his hat just goes crazy. Okay, let's go, Sua. I'm not sure. He's in the zone, bro. Dude, this some Ao Ashi shit right now. You see the soccer anime? Where he has like eagle bird eye vision. He's like so in the zone, his eye powers activate. Then in the whole soccer field, you don't just see your perspective here. You see the entire fucking field in a bird eye view. Okay. Who is it? Yeah, shoot his eyes! You he probably can. No, 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 he, he probably can. Yeah, he's elusive. Right in the throat. Get fucked. And now, he can't do shit. We can just go shoot the dogs now, which sounds fucking weird. 5-3. The commentator's so good. He's so fucking good. Someone needs to hire him, bro. Give him a fucking mic. Just like DJ Beyblade. The CGI is definitely apparent, but like when I compare this shit to Failure Frame, man, I am just shitting on Failure Frame, huh? Every fucking opportunity I get, anytime there's some CGI talks this season, Failure Frame gets brought up. But truly, am I wrong? Look how they do CGI here compared to Failure Frame. I don't feel that sense of whiplash because they know how to make a transition and make it look better. CGI isn't bad, it's the way you use CGI. What? Wait, wait, what'd you say? What, 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 what? Our lower special move is a reverse shot. And then... In the future, there'll be a word. Makes a youngster's heart leap for joy. Reverse shot. Youngster. Blushing. He's a degenerate. Is he making a joke about back shots right now? Because maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm reaching. But there was the reverse shot. Back. Taking it from behind. Shota. He's a Shota Khan. I'm just saying, he's not beating the allegations, bro. Jumping reverse shot. Bah! Elusive Samurai. Parthian shot. パルティアンショット。こう。紀元前中東の国家パルティアンが後ろ打ち戦術である。接近しては逃げながら打つ一撃離脱は手も足もでず力尽きたという。
cool little history lesson. Cool, cool, cool. Basically, just run and gun, reverse shot, makes the use of like small forces against the big numbers. And thank God, no more dogs were shot afterwards. <laughs> Oh! The ear! The ear shot was intentional! Because he clipped that shit last episode and now he gave him payback. But honestly, it's, it's not enough. Should have fucking tore his ear out, man. Oh. Never mind. さて、定めねえだな。うん。駆けの約束だ。血はしないでいただきましょう。<笑><笑> Ooh. I just can't wait for the time when his eyes fucking pop out of his socket. I just cannot wait, bro. Like, that has to happen, right? Mm. No way! He's figuring it out! Yeah, it's just like, why would you ever bring someone so important to the front, right? It's like hiding your most important thing by just showing it immediately. It's just like, what? Oh. More deception. Less pressure off of us.逃げながら進める戦。このです。高氏。武士に無用の卑劣な技。わしが主君のために追う腕を磨けば磨くほど信頼を失い、長年尽くした主君から盗む。よいか。お前はわしの技を。ボックス。金以外信じるな。信頼
それよりどうするの諏訪の民があなた様は道理をわきまえたそれだけでは足りない We need to act upon those ideals. 実は長者党に加入を進めたい It's gonna be the fox mask guy, right? That、uh, dude that said only trust money, right? The person that inherited that will. Yeah, there it is. Genba, thief. Alright, we got a shinobi. Eh, I guess, but why are you using Nusubito? That's it? To steal it? And we could be like, well, it never existed. Shit. Yeah, it, it is like a contract, right? So we just steal the decree. <laughs> sure. I'm down. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Sure. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Sure. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Sure. Sorry, I don't want to talk a b o u t it. Wait a minute! See that? You see that? That isn't supposed to be there. Why does he have the traits of that mask of the fox mask? Hmm. Is that the ninja? Hmm. He's already infiltrated. Amazing water animation. <laughs> Even him? We all got grouped as ladies. What is it, you beautiful young ladies? I could see, like, you know, these three over here. But the blue hair kid, too? Wah wah. They know that name. They know that name. Whoa! What the f? Yo, they're faster than the elusive samurai. <laughs> these, these grannies and grandpas are faster than Tokyuki. That name? Why is it taboo? And the chicken's gone too. <laughs> nah, he's just chuny. He's just chuny, bro. Just a dumbass little kid trying to act all cool and dark. I don't buy this shit, bro. He's chuny. <laughs> kilos away. <laughs> you see that shit, though? On the top of his mask, right? Shit, wait. That, that's what I saw with, at you know, Suo residence with the other guy. And, you know, he had that same thing. There's <laughs> frog in there. Oh, we got robbed. Alright, just get paid. Asua! See what I tell you, bro. It's ruined this entire kid's life. <laughs> Because his mentor said, never trust anything in life other than fucking money. Now, It's not the right way to live, right? But maybe this helped this kid survive because of shitty things happening in the past. <laughs> Speed contest. Steal the money back. Ah. <laughs> You don't want land? Yo, the art of the deal, or the negotiation tactics. I didn't know he had it like this. Fucking province owner, bro. 
与えられて当然なのに金で済ませてくれるなんて Somehow it worked out. でも混乱するわ心配ないよ諏訪大社が保証するからでも現金払いで本天下を取って一国を任されたら何万かんも懐に入るよ Never? I feel like we should still listen to that I don't know Having like these kind of wishes Having these kind of like things that's not Real and it's just like oh if you do this I'm sure we can get this for you It's probably not a good way to you know live by things but hey what the fuck is this cosplay right now The angel and the devil Somehow we're out hustling him シミになっちゃうかなおいボンだなうん条件がある人事は効力絶大諏訪の領地 Is he licking it and rubbing the thing with his eyeballs bro? Like I want again I just can't wait for his eyes to pop out one of these days from doing this so much 人事は効力絶大諏訪の領地を削り取りいずれは全て無責任な雇用主に命をかける気はない What's the uh, condition? お前も一緒に来るならば受けた巫女の情報通りだね当然だ臨時を盗んできてくれと頼まれたのは私だからなはっしくじればああなる Does cut off heads? Are we good? We're not gonna get caught やれない場所に誘って和歌を売る気じゃ大丈夫だよ頼重様が仲間に和歌様の老頭になったで、今楽しいでしょ It's all fun and games until someone dies ご丁寧に上前が三十。開けられる。それより問題は蔵の前の見張り二人だ。結局は生の人間以上の上前。俺の技だ。Oh, that was smooth. Oh, that was smooth. He landed with the branch down there and used that to jump off of it. Is this supposed to be pulling? One for the collection. One for the collection, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Just, just watch out for the internet. I guarantee you, this is gonna be somewhere. With some weird ass fucking captions. I guarantee you, bro. Yeah, just like the promises of our investments or the fucking land. I'm telling you, bro. Like, this kid is just doing the same shit. We promised him, like, instead of cash. Like, we'll give you all of this land and future, like, promotions and shit. You're literally acting on future promises that doesn't fucking tangentially exist either. I'm not wrong. Oh. <laughs> you put roaches and you peed in their rice? <laughs> That's it? You killed her or something. I mean, you sound like a fucking hitman, but these are just juvenile pranks. But then again, they're just kids. Oi. <laughs> That is Gemba. Gemba can literally transform, right? Because you can see at the top of his head here as well, the white and the red fox mask like ears. We saw that before as well in Sua Place. So, like, 
he has some sort of ninjutsu that allows him to transform into other people. I don't know how the fuck that works, but who cares? What are those ears? Oh. That's the best part of the episode. And it's probably the best part of today's episode. Yeah, fuck the fuck the battle between Sarahume and, and and you know and fucking main character. No no no. This is the best part. I just wanna look cute. Got it? <laughs> very kawaii. Yes, very kawaii. That's it worked. <laughs> Ancestral clay. Okay, I don't, I don't... What the fuck about Ancestral clay can make you morph into most people? I know I shouldn't be asking, right? We're, we're watching a fucking anime and like this should not be the thing that I'm asking when you've seen fucking, you know, Sua do like Gojo Satoru infinite shit, but like... The mask is OP, huh? Back at the shrine. Yep. Yep, we did. あ、あ、これがリンジってのは現場なんでも盗め誰にでも化けるそんな奴が徘徊俺を使える自信はあるかdon't let yoshirige yorishige sama know about this bro now he has two of the same shoulders that he's so sus about don't let him know I guess the walls are... This is the guy with the huge, huge ears, right? Yeah. Because, like, yeah, there's a, there's a guy with, like, you know, Sadaume is the eye guy. This dude, his ears are so large, he can... He can hear that far away. Is ears, he just looks like a rat though. Like straight up, he has a rat mouse face. The end. And that's today's episode of the Elusive Samurai. We're gonna introduce you a new character, Gemba, whose only cause is to care about money because his master instilled that philosophy into him because he probably got betrayed by not following money. He's got ancestral clay in the mask that can let him just transform height, face, voice acting, gender. Doesn't fucking matter. He can just change into someone else. But if he does that, he has those, you know, cute ears. And then the reason is, the reason is he just wants to look cute. God damn it. He's a pretty interesting character. And I think he's being shown in a hostile, evil way in the first impressions. But I think he's going to be a cutie patootie that's going to join our team and everything's going to be fine. I thought that Sadaomi would be defeated in today's episode. And it was pretty cool to see the reverse backshot with a little bit of history lore. But I guess his arc is not over yet. And it's just continuing. And we'll see what happens next episode. If this show is going to survive. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Most of you, honestly, me telling you this is pointless because 90% of the people are not watching this portion of the video. So, probably gonna be the last episode that we react to, but that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.